man, Georgia Ave, man, as a teenager, man, I used to ride through Georgia Ave. It's like Georgia Ave start off on 7th Street in D.C. and go all the way down to Glenmont, Maryland, through Shady Grove and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It was a pretty dope street, man, because... I used to hang out at Wheaton Mall. If you're from the DMV, you know Wheaton Mall. Back in the day, it was a cool hangout spot for teenagers and shit, young niggas running around doing crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Georgia Ave, man. Like, I used to go to the strip club, the penthouse. You know what I'm saying? Howard Homecoming. Every Howard Homecoming, I was right there. Georgia Ave on the block, chilling. You know what I'm saying? Trying to see what's good with the shorties and shit like that. Like, Man, I'm going to tell you like this. Man, we had fun on Georgia Ave, man. That's how we made that motherfucker. Like, when I was making that song, it just felt great just expressing myself. Even though I wasn't talking about details and, like, details and, like, in the actual record about my times on Georgia Ave. But everything I was talking about was related to Georgia Ave. Like, you know, the feeling of the record and what I felt like, you know what I'm saying, kicking it on the block, like, you know what I'm saying, because it wasn't nothing too, wasn't nothing too crazy, you know, but we, we was just, you know, young motherfuckers, they ain't got no worries in the world, you know what I'm saying, but you get older now, you got all types of worries and shit, you got bills, the type of bills, most motherfuckers got families now, they got kids, they got wives and shit, they got lives and shit, you know what I'm saying, you still that nigga from Georgia Ave, just still out here rapping. <laughs> And it's like sometimes it should be sad and sometimes it should be fucking great at the same time. It's like, yeah, but hey, making that motherfucking record was probably one of the, you know, funnest times in the studio and shit. And when I say in the studio, just me and a nigga J-Rob coming up with the beat, sending that shit to me and my motherfucking ass be recording that shit in my living room. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but I feel good about the record, man. It came out pretty good. And you know what I'm saying? Like, look out for that album, 1980, coming soon, baby. I'm, we gon', you know, we, we we just about the music out here, man. We just not, you know, it ain't no clout shit. It's just basic, good ass music. You know what I'm saying? Good people's records, you know what I'm saying? We're coming, it is what it is. With big dreams that stick with ya An old rapper say Why you still rapping at 39? I probably be 65 before I see my prime Gotta love critics You never chase the dream of your life You ain't living A thousand air plotting and scheming on getting billions You sitting on the sideline hating in your feelings You ain't gotta pay me no mind I got business Small minded niggas never understood the vision No wise words from a YouTube comedy That'll never 